coach. The uh, the distance right now between Sheldrick and Amari, is Sheldrick still sizably ahead? Sheldrick, honestly, I am very, very pleased with Sheldrick. Um, I, in my opinion, he's had the best, you know, spring he's had since he's been here. And him and Mike Jack are far and above all the DBs that we have on camp. You know, that are practicing. Obviously, Jaquan's going through, taking that class. He's not here out, out here the whole time. Um, but Jaquan's doing a great job in terms of just finishing up his degree, which is what you want. But Sheldrick is just lights out, killing it right now. So really proud of him. He's had one bad day, and that's the one thing I always talk to him about. Sheldrick has to play consistently every single game for us to be good. And I always tell this to seniors. I said this to Jamal, Jamal and uh, Rayshon. Also, shout out to Jamal Carter. Happy birthday, bud, wherever you're at. We love you. Uh, but I told these guys, I told those guys the same thing I told Redwine and Jaquan. If you're going to be a really good senior, have a great senior year, and change your life after this is over, you have to play great in spring, and you have to play great in training camp. And that will equal a great senior season. Always, forever, never will be different. So, proud of him. Amari's coming along. He's doing a good job. Amari would be your third right now. Uh, well, to be honest with you, Rob Knowles is having a great spring, too. So, uh, I, them two are battling. Got some competition in the room now, finally. We really needed it, Matt. So, it's good to really have some competition there. I can't wait to get, you know, Quan back full time, get Garvin back, you know, off, off, the, off the injury. But Rob Knowles, another guy that just, I mean, really pre Rob, actually, we have a, a little CT grading schedule uh, that Jess brought to us from, from uh, the Falcons, and it's awesome. Rob got the highest score that we've had so far throughout spring. He got a, we call seven. So he had his best practice as a hurricane last last practice. Proud of Rob. Mari's in that too. I mean, it's, it's great. That's why, you, you know, that's what made Green, Green Tree great a long time ago. And, what, and that's what we got to get back to is putting a lot of good players on the field, this field, and it makes the, you know, it makes the play of everyone rise. So. How much time has Derek or Romeo spent with you or are they exclusively with the linebackers in the game? So uh, Derek and Romeo are playing striker now, and that's a new role that we're working through uh, this spring that Coach Diaz and Coach Pack are working with. Coach Pack has done an absolute great job with Romeo and Derek. They are, you know, they are really contributing. They're, they're changing us defensively. Um, they're actually getting coached now by Coach Packy, <laughs> so he's doing a great job. Uh, but no, Derek and Romeo, I've had, I haven't had them this spring, but you know, we, we, I'm super proud of what they're doing. I think Coach Pack is doing a hell of a job with those kids. The CT, you're talking about that, like an aptitude test. It, it's really competes in toughs. It's something that you, oh, okay. I would ask Jess about. Yeah. Um, but he, yeah, you know, bringing Jess has been amazing. I, I, we are, he's changed. He's helped us so much. You know, I mean, the kids are, kids are doing a great job. He's doing a great job with kids. And, and that CT scale is something he brought with us, and it's really been a really cool, unique thing that I'd ask him about. But uh, when it came to competes. And we always talk about competes, you know, talking about being in Charlotte. Are you playing on Green Tree, but in a mindset of being in Charlotte? And when you do that and you're doing all the little things like that, then you get a high C score, it's a compete score. And uh, Red and Rob had the highest uh, this past practice. So we've had a lot of good numbers too, so. Obviously, he came here hoping to, to jump in, hasn't been able to. What has he been able to do? Is he just in team meetings at this point with you guys? Yeah. Been, so, Gervin. And, and how's he doing? You know, it's a good question. Gervin actually uh, got five practices, five or six practices in, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, he early enrolled, and that kind of is a bummer. And everyone's like, man, he doesn't get to go through spring ball. What he did get to go through was the time in the weight room with our strength staff, which is the most important thing. And I, again, I think our strength staff did a hell of a job with our kids this spring. So, he put on weight. He learned how to practice. The good thing is he's in meeting room. So in the meeting room, he could he should be in English class in Palm Beach Gardens right now, you know, doing whatever he's supposed to be doing. But luckily early enrolled and he's sitting in my room. So he's hearing all the installs. I, I get to sit there and say, hey Gervin, what do you do on this? I installed a new defense the day after he was hurt. Guess what? Gervin still got the test the next day. So he is still being able to hear and see all the corrections in practice that we're making. And then we get on the field, you know, we get to talk to him, do some stuff when he's not going through uh, some of the rehab stuff with our strength staff. With so Derek, and, Derek and Romeo, you know, playing striker now, how do you feel about your death? I, I, I love it. I mean, if you think about it, we got, um, we got Jaquan and Redwine, obviously our two guys, and expect them to play really well this year. Okay, then you got Rob, you got Amari, and then you got Gervin to bring along. I'll do the same thing I did with Gervin that I did with Amari. And I'll bring him along slow. He's got to he's got to prove to Coach Hartley that he can help us on special teams. He's got to run down and tackle. He's got to prove to his teammates that he'll do that. And then once he does that, then we'll start you know working him in into games and stuff like that. So we got five safeties in my opinion that can get on the field and that can play for us for sure. So anyone else before we gotta go? Good. Thank you, Thank you guys.